It's a Monday, it's the first day of March, and it is Women's History Month, and there are many influential women who have made large contributions not only to our state, but to our nation. News 6 is celebrating their achievements on the path to where we are now. And ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Voles is here with a list of leading ladies who have really made an impact, and it's all on our website, Bri. Ladies, some women are well known for their accomplishments, while others you may not have heard of. We have quite the list of trailblazers, so today I'm going to go over just a few of them with you, and the first on our list here is Julia Tuttle. Did you know she is actually considered the mother of Miami? She's the only female founder of the city, and here's how that happened. When her husband died in 1886, she bought several hundred acres of land near the Miami River. She believed the area could make a great city, so she convinced Henry Flagler to extend his railroad. Miami was officially incorporated as a city in 1896, just a few months after the first train arrived. Now, there is another very impressive trailblazer we need to talk about today. Her name is Gwen Cherry. She was the first black woman to pass the Florida bar exam and practice law in Dade County. She graduated from Florida A&M University in 1946, got her master's from New York University, and completed her law degree at FAMU. Very bright. Cherry was first a teacher, then she became an attorney, and then became the first black woman elected to the Florida legislature. She's known for fighting for the rights of minorities and women and introducing Florida's first Equal Rights Amendment bill in 1972. She also fought to recognize Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday as a state holiday. And there's one more name I want to bring up this morning, and that is Senator Beth Johnson. Let's get down here so we can tell her story. So she is the first woman in the Florida Senate after four years in the House, paving the way for other women in politics. One of her biggest focuses was on education, and in 1965, she worked to pass a bond program to establish the University of Central Florida. As an alumni, I'm very thankful for her. She was also a member of the League of Women Voters. There's several other women being recognized on this list, which is up now on ClickOrlando.com. But there are also a lot of other women out there who have and are accomplishing amazing things, and we want to hear about the women who inspire you. So go to ClickOrlando.com slash Women's History Month to submit the women you think should be honored this month, and you can also check out the other women we have on our list. They are pretty incredible.